Okay, Face Guy here. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the full review of the HT Design Sheffield Home Theater Seats. Now, if you missed the original video, last week, um, HT Design sent this out for me to review for you guys. And they were aware that I had recently just got the Valencia Tuscany seats from Valencia um, sent out to me to review as well. And so they told me that they think these would be a really good bang for the buck, a run for the Valencia's money. Um, so this is a fully unbiased review. So I've been sitting in this particular chair um, for about a week now, and I've sat in it enough to give you guys a pretty accurate taste of what it's been like sitting in this chair. Now, in this video in particular, we will not be doing a comparison between the Tuscany and the Sheffield. That will be the next video after this. This is just a dedicated review for this seat. So if you missed the unboxing, there are a few nice features on this that we'll quickly go through. Of course, as we all know, this does recline uh, forward and back. It does have a little footrest that also comes out when you recline, so you have that as well. And then behind me, you have your um, headrest that can change positions depending on how you want to get comfortable. You have that as well. Now, there's no lumbar support on this particular seat, but um, HT Designs has said that there are models that do have that, and they're making some more models that will have that as well. Now, you have two cup holders on either side with the ability to have accessories. Um, so for example, this is a phone or tablet holder. You can get a, a, a desk tray or whatever you want to use. Um, and then it has a USB charging port in the right cup holder for whatever device you want to use. You have a, uh, a USB right there within arm's reach inside the cup holder. So everything's all in one spot for you. Now these armrests do open up to allow you to have plenty of storage. It's very deep storage. So you can put all the remotes you have, any accessories you use during your home theater watching. You all have you have a place to stow them away and keep them concealed. Um, and then you have really nice padding on the armrest as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get, get right into the full review. All right, so I wanna start off by saying again, thank you so much to HT Design for sitting this out for review. It's always scary when you give a product to a reviewer because you're at the mercy of that reviewer. But I want to be completely honest with my viewers and anybody looking at these seats. So first and foremost, these are really comfortable seats. The padding on the backrest, on the headrest, underneath your butt is super padded. It's really padded. So you're never going uh, to get fatigued or tired sitting in this seat. When I'm watching TV or YouTube or movies, I never feel myself having to adjust or shift because you are firmly planted and very comfortable in the seat. When I first uh, got the seat and did my unboxing, I complained a little bit that it felt like I would slide um, when I'm sitting back because there's no, it's not quilted or anything back here. So the leather's really slick. But over time, as you sit into the seat, you start to form your shape in a sense. Um, not that it, it, it starts to uh, flatten out or anything, but like you kind of just uh, settle in and you um, you really stay still once you're in that spot. So I don't really slide around at all. So that's nice to see. But everything is nicely padded and really comfortable from the headrest down to the footrest. It's very comfortable. Another nice side of things is the motor. When you're moving the seat back and forth, uh, when you're moving the headrest back and forth, you don't really hear that motor. Now, when it's completely silent, you hear the motor, of course, and that's expected, so no nitpick there. Um, but you don't hear the operation at all when you're moving um, the armrest, or excuse me, the headrest, or the footrest, or whatever. It's a very quiet, quiet uh, transition. Now, one of the really nice things is this USB charger. A lot of times when you get chargers um, built into something, they're not very fast. But this one actually charges very quickly. I was able to charge my phone while on a video call, and it still had enough juice to actually increase my battery percentage. You don't see that a lot. Um, so very capable chargers here, too. So if you have your phone with you or a tablet, you're going to have plenty of juice right there from the seat. And it's uh, right in front of the cup holder. Now, I'm going to leave... Uh, I'm going to lead this into my next segue, this cup holder and the buttons around them. I love the placement of the buttons right here where your arms are going to be right on the cup holder. Um, but that could be a little bit risky depending on who's sitting in the seat. If you're not careful and you do spill your drink trying to get your drink into the cup holder, um, you could get a little bit of juice or water or whatever inside those buttons. And I'm sure it will cause a problem over time. 
And that USB that I speak so highly of is actually a part of the cup holder too. So you have to be careful. Now they put a little door on the USB to close it up when it's not in use. But if it's ever open, you don't close it back and you spill your drink or you get condensation in there, you're prone to ruining that USB. Um, so even though everything's nice and, and located in one central area, I would like to see the buttons away from uh, this cup holder um, just for the odd chance that you do spill a drink or get condensation in those buttons. It's probably going to be an expensive piece to repair if you get any water damage inside. So let's talk about the quality of the leather. Like I said, it feels really good to sit in. It feels really nice on your skin and you don't stick to it or anything like that. So it's really, it's a really comfortable chair. But as far as holding up, it's actually done really well. Um, I've eaten in this seat. I've watched a lot of TV and movies in this seat. I've thrown a couple things in a seat after work, maybe a, a, a hat. Um, maybe a box or two that came in from Amazon or something and it's held up well just for the normal use I haven't seen any signs of fraying um, the the stitching has stayed intact um, no problems at all and, and I know it's only been a week um, but I have a 20 day review period so I got to do as much as I can um, but so far so good the leather hasn't seemed to wrinkle or rip or, or uh, split apart it seems like it's built very well and that's what I want to see um, whenever I'm spending this much money on one seat. We'll talk about the pricing towards the end of the video. Um, but it, solidly built. I'm very impressed with just about everything on it. Um, even down to the footrest, it's not uh, very wobbly. It feels very sturdy on your feet. Um, you don't feel like it's loose or you know you could possibly break it over time. It seems to be pretty sturdy and well built. Um, so I'm very happy to see that. I have no complaints with the build quality whatsoever. Even some of the plastics around the seat, like the cup holders and stuff like that, they still feel pretty solid. Like I have no problem with the, the hard plastic. They seem like they're well in place. They don't wiggle, wiggle loose or anything like that. It's just a really solidly built chair. Um, so A++ on, on that. Now, let's get into some of the things that I don't like about the seat. And we're going to start off with the LED lights. They are really bright. And I don't know there's going to be too many people who are okay with that. Now, there may be some people who think that it's cool, but I think the majority of customers aren't going to like how bright these lights are. Not so much the cup holders. They illuminate well. You know exactly where you are on the chair. It's the LEDs underneath that are super bright. Even when the seat is completely at resting position, completely uh, folded up, you still have a lot of light that shoots out into the room. Um, so that could be distracting in a very light room, especially if these seats are on the front row and your screen's maybe eight, nine feet in front of you. You're gonna see that light reflecting on your screen, especially if you have a TV. Um, you may see the underside of your seat in the reflection of the movie. Um, that will bother people to the point where they don't wanna turn on the lights, which sucks because the lights are a very cool touch on home theater seating. That's why almost everybody does it. Um, so I wish that these were either a little less bright or the ability to turn the brightness down. Now, in HT Design's uh, defense, I've never really seen a home theater company give you the ability to change the lights as far as brightness goes. I've never seen that. Um, but it would be a nice touch to have, especially with these seats being so bright. It'd be really cool if the, you could change the colors too. Everybody seems to use blue, but what if you want to use white or you want to use like an amber color, a, a, a yellow, a soft light, something like that. That would be cool to see too, especially if you're spending the money on a chair. Customi customization would be really cool to see. Not a lot of people are doing that and that could really set you apart from the rest of the pack. Now my biggest nitpick about this chair is the footrest and how far it comes up before you start to recline back. Some people, for example, want to sit tall but have their feet up and sit like this. It's not really that easy to do. I'll show you what I mean. So when you start to kick up the footrest, about this point here, the seat already starts to recline back. Sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you're eating and you would like to have your feet up while you're watching something. And then when you're done eating, then you can lay back. Well, this starts to travel backwards well before this comes up to its highest point. So if you want your feet to be kicked all the way up, your seat's already starting to recline back. It would be nice to see the seat wait just a little bit longer so I could sit tall like this, have my feet up, and I can eat what I want to eat. Or if I'm working on something, my computer, my laptop, I have that ability on my tray um, and still have my feet up. But it's not that easy. The seat forces you to kind of sit this way if you want your feet all the way up. So 
you can recline it back and you can kind of get that sensation but it does start to bring the foot rest down and it's okay you'll get used to it but it'd be nice to see um this travel all the way up before that starts to travel all the way back. Just a nitpick thing, but I noticed it almost instantly because I like to sit kind of high like this and still sit tall, um, but have my feet up. It seems pretty nice that way, but it's just a nitpick thing. I had to mention it because it did bother me, so it may bother some of you guys out there as well. All right, that's gonna do it for my review of the HT Design Sheffield seat. Thank you one last time to the guys at HT Design for allowing me to make this video possible for you guys today. I had fun sitting in it and giving it a review. We will get to the comparison video uh, probably late this week. HT Design versus Valencia Tuscany, which one's the better buy? I will do a review on that, a comparison video to see which one's the best. Now you can pick up your Sheffield seat right now on htmarket.com is what it's called, um, the Sheffield seat for about 1,049 for the seat that I have here. So one seat with two armrests, you can get that for 1,049 um, or you can get more, you can get a row of them, you can get a curved uh, set, whatever you wanna do. I don't know if you can change co colors or not, I'll have to see on the website, but I'll leave a link in the description to their website, to these seats in particular as well, um, so you guys can see what fits best in your room. Um, but really nice seat overall. If I had to rate it uh, out of 10 stars, it's definitely at 8.5. Um, I would like to see lumbar support at this price point, and I would like to see uh, these lights not be so bright. And then this may or may not be an issue, but I am kind of concerned about the buttons and everything being right here on the cup holder only because little ones may spill something into it if they're not careful, could cause you some problems in the future. So I think 8.5 out of, out of 10 is where this rates, only because there's proof, improvements that could be made. Um, so with that being said, thank you so much to HD Designs for sending this out. Thank you so much to you guys for watching. Leave me a comment down below and let me know, do you have home theater seats in your home theater? Why or why not? Why haven't you uh, bought some if you have? And if you have bought some, um, what ones did you get and why did you get those? Let me know that comment section down below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. <laughs>